Statesboro, it's like this little oasis of a location. Statesboro is a town that's really been evolving and that, that evolution's been on the fast track in the last 15, 20 years or so. It used to be a sleepy college town in South Georgia. It's changed a lot in the last 20 years. I mean, I remember as a student athlete here, uh, we got a Ruby Tuesday, we got freaked out. I think Statesboro loves itself. It's the first thing I would say. It's a city that acts a lot bigger than it looks. It's a small town feel with a big town mentality. They're a community that rally around something that they can get behind. Good afternoon, Statesboro. This is a big day, this is a big deal for us. And the one thing I know about the city of Statesboro is this. Our favorite color is blue, and we like to win like the ribbon. This is a win for the community. Not only are we getting a professional level soccer team, a sport that's loved around the world, but we are now creating an economic development area that's going to have a huge impact on our community and throughout this region. But none of this would not have been possible if it was not for the leadership and the vision of Darren and the working together of all of the people in this community. That's something that Tormenta FC does a really good job of is, you know, we're always out in the community, um, whether that's schools, whether that's programs. You know, we can't ask the community to be a part of what we're doing if we're not a part of the community and what they're doing. When you look at Statesboro, I think for us it's a lot of firsts. They were the first team inside USL League One. The same day we announced their first coach, and then we announced the first soccer-specific stadium to join the league. I think that this is a community that I feel very much indebted to, in that part of this stadium building and part of Tormenta is very much trying to help grow this community. You're supposed to act like he's not there. <laughs> All of Tormenta's history is wrapped up uh, in large part with their team president, Darren Van Tassel. He was a professor at Georgia Southern University. I took a class with him over a decade ago now. Well, I went to school here in the 80s, played baseball here. I was a professor here and a baseball coach. He called me up one day in the, the summer of 2015 and said, you know, Mike, how would you feel about a soccer team coming to Statesboro? I thought Statesboro was ready to be a professional city. Our whole mission statement is three words. Pros start here. We needed to and wanted to grow professional front office folks. Almost our entire office was either a graduate of Georgia Southern or is still going there. So we're really drawing in our new professional workers from the school. We want to create a professional mentality and a professional culture. Now that we have a pro soccer team, we don't just have to say pros start here, we get to say pros are here. I'm not surprised to be honest that Tormenta was one of the first teams approached when League One came about. I think it was blatantly obvious to everyone that knew anything about American soccer that Tormenta was a force in League Two and everything from top to bottom was done so professionally that I had a good year in, in college and I had some other looks but for me I wanted to be at Tormenta FC and I knew there was ten other guys coming back here that I knew were bought in and they have the same goals that I do. I'm born and raised in Georgia so I've basically been here my whole life. It feels good to be able to play the sport that I've always wanted to play at a professional level here. All right, pick up all the cones, jog to the side, grab those cones over as well, get a sip, meet me at half field. The important thing to know about the personality of this franchise is it's, it's never been about Torment FC, it's about how we can invest in the community around us. One of the main things that people will find when they come here is just how close-knit the community is and how supportive everybody is of each other. One of the biggest surprises to me was how quickly the uh, fan base started out. I knew there were some soccer fans around town. They would have something to uh, do. They would like to go out and see it. But before you knew it, you know, players who weren't suiting up, they were hanging out with the kids in the stands. They were growing the, the uh, fan section. Having this ability to get to know players a little more 
you feel a much closer connection and there's kind of a pride that you build up with that. And here is your ticket. It was incredible, the first game I went to. It was just clear that one, the soccer was quality, entertaining, but then the entire event, it was about um, even more than soccer. They had food trucks there, they had all these fun events, family friendly events, and I've got kids, and so it was just a great evening. And since then, I've just been hooked and I want to support them and see it thrive. It's got the whole town really energized right now. It's been exciting to see it coming in from the outside and seeing some bigger soccer played in other areas of the country and then coming here to Statesboro and being surprised by the little gym that we've got here. It's going to be a massive night in Statesboro, you know, the first game of the season, the first game in the league. There's going to be a lot of eyes on us, and I think for us personally, we want to put on a show and we want to impress a couple of people. This is the first step of a very, very, very long journey. This is a league match. We set some pretty lofty expectations for results this year, did we not? Yeah. Okay. Getting here, okay, is a good place to be. Give it to Give it And now, what you guys need to do is take it that one step further. Family, boys. Family, family, family. Eh? Stay away from come on. Yeah. sentiment to occur. Um, you can't put price tags on, on all of those things. I'm so excited to be part of this team. Extremely excited and grateful for the group that we have here. It's a, it's a group of extremely talented, humble, and, and, and deserving, deserving young men who, uh, who put in a tremendous amount of effort over nine, uh, nine weeks of preseason. And if you see, you see when we score the goal, when Alex scores the goal, the fans erupt, you see the players celebrating like we've just scored the World Cup winner. You see how much this means to us. And that just goes, goes to show how special of a group we have right here, how much of a family environment we have and how far we can go. And at the end of the day, we love playing this game. We, have, we love playing it together.